Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Char. And if you're a K-1 visa holder like me living now here in the U.S. and you're now in the process of adjusting your status, applying for employment authorization and the travel documents or the advanced parole so you can travel outside U.S. So this video might gonna help you prepare the adjustment of status package. Just keep on watching! So this is how our cover letter looks like. This is the format guys of the cover letter that I did for my adjustment of status application. And if you want a copy, I will just put this on the description below. Say say na natin ko na bang nilalaman ng ating cover letter. So first of course we have our name, the beneficiary name. So this is just an example. I put Anne May Smith. So second, uh, we need our alien number. So may kita natin to sa ating NOAA 2. Third, we have our address, phone number, and email address. And next we have the date and the USCIS address kung saan natin isisend ang ating application. So, iba-iba tayo guys kung saan natin siya isi-send, depende kung saan state tayo at kung anong career yung gagamitin natin. So, dito natin siya may kita guys. So, yun lang yung ilalagay nyo dyan sa USCIS address. And next, of course, we have the, uh, the subject of our cover letter. So, regarding to our immediate relative, her spouse, family base, adjustment of status application, Form I-485. So, to whom it may concern, herewith are the following documents for the filing of my application for adjustment of status for your reference. So, let's go na sa ating mga requirements na kailangan. So first, we have the payment of course in the amount of $1,225. So this is for our filing fee and for the biometrics fee. And if you're going to use a uh, check, so this is the example uh, format how we write the information on the check. Second, we have the Form G1145 or the e-notification of application. So, this is a uh, request for an electronic notification when USCIS accepts immigration form. So, um, so using this form, makakareceive tayo ng text or email regarding sa ating application. So, fill up lang natin itong form na ito. So, third, of course, we have our duly accomplished Form I-485. So, fill up lang natin. Please be aware, guys, na updated yung form na pipil up natin. And don't forget to sign sa very end ng application form. And next, we have the copy of I-797 or yung know what to natin, Notice of Approval. And next, we have the copy of NBC Acceptance Letter. So, this is the NBC Acceptance Letter. And next, we have the Certified Copy of Merge Certificate. So, um, kung marami naman kayong copy, guys, ng Certified Copy ng Merge Certificate nyo, so much better na yun na yung natin sa USCIS. And next, we have the copy of birth certificate, of course, from PSA. And copy of our by page passport. Copy of K-1 visa page. 
Next, we have the copy of Form I-94 or the Arrival Departure Record. So, this is the I-94. So, I will just put the link below para mas madali nyo ma-access, guys. And next, we have the copy of Form DS-3025 or the Vaccination Documentation Worksheet. So, ito yung galing sa at sa ating medical galing kay St. Luke. Next, we have the two pieces of 2x2 two two pictures with our name and alien number at the back. And additional information, guys, if your petitioner went through annulment or divorce, so you need to provide the certificate. So, add nyo lang dyan sa list of the requirements. And next, we have the form I-864 or the affidavit of support from our petitioner. So, ito yung mga requirements natin dyan. So, we have of course the duly accomplished form I-864 na pinila pa ni petitioner. Ayan. So, don't forget also to sign at the very end of the application form. And next, we have the bio page passport of the petitioner and the copy of birth certificate of the petitioner. And next, we have the financial documents. So, this is the most tax return transcript. So, uh, for us, we have the recent form W-2 and the recent form 1040. So, ayan yung pinasa namin kay USCIS. And I also include the copy of recent pay stubs ng aking petitioner. Ayan. And last, the uh, photos together, pictures together. So, we just put here our wedding photos. And don't forget to sign and put the date. And that's it guys for the cover letter for your Form I-485. For our Form I-864, so dahil sineparate ko lang siya ng Manila envelope guys, so ginawan ko na lang din siya ng cover letter. So this is just the format that I did for our application. So, here you just put the petitioner's name, the address, phone number, and email address. So, ganun lang din guys. Uh, just put the date here and the USCIS uh, address. And here we have the subject, affidavit of support or form I-864. So, to whom it may concern, here we are the following documents for affidavit of support for my wife or for your husband. So, this is just an example and me Smith for your reference. So, kung ano lang yung binanggit natin na requirements sa form, I, form I-864. So, yun lang din yun. Ayan. And don't forget to sign and put the date. For application for employment authorization or form I-765, so this is the cover letter. Say say na natin. Of course, we have again our name, the Vietnam Peshari name. So this is just an example. And Ms. Smith. And we need again our alien number, address, phone number, and email address. So next, we have here the date. And next, the USCIS address again. As I explained earlier, guys, and the subject application for employment authorization or Form I-765. So, to whom it may concern, herewith are the following documents for filing of my application for employment authorization for your reference. So, ito na yung mga requirements, guys, for our application for employment authorization. First, we have again the form G1145 or e-notification of application. And next, we have of course the uh, form I-765. So, pilapan lang natin yung form and don't forget to sign at the very end of our application form. Next, we have again our by page passport, the certified copy of marriage certificate, Copy of I-129 or the uh, NOAA 2, the Notice of Approval. And 
and the copy of Form I-94 or the Arrival Departure Record and two pieces of 2 by 2 pictures again with the name and alien number at the back. So, yan. Pirmahan lang natin and put the date. And this is the cover letter for our application for travel document, Advanced Parole of Form I-131. So, say na uli natin. Of course, we have our name, the beneficiary name, the alien number, address, phone number, and email address. So, let's just put the date here and the USCIS address again, of course. And our subject, application for travel document, Advanced Parole. Form I-131. So, to whom it may concern, here with are the following documents for the filing of my application for travel document or advanced parole for your reference. And these are the requirements that we need. And same lang sila actually ng requirements sa ating application for employment authorization. So, we have here the Form G-1145 in notification of application. And of course, the Form I-131, ang ating application form. Don't forget to sign at the very end of the application form. And the BioPage Passport, our certified copy of marriage certificate. The copy of I-129F, uh, NOAA 2. And the copy of Form I-94, Arrival Departure Record. And last, the two pieces of 2 by 2 pictures with the name and alien number at the back. And don't forget to sign and put the date. And lastly, this is the cover letter for our overall applications. So, this is the format that we did. We just put all the supporting documents or requirements in one cover letter. And this is what inside on your overall cover letter. So to whom it may concern, I your name, so just put your name here. Enter the United States of America with the K-1 visa last. So this is the date that you landed in the United States. So kung nakalimutan nyo guys, may kita nyo lang siya sa I-94 nyo. So, my port of entry was kung saan yung state kayo nagland. So, for example, New York. I am now applying for adjustment of status based on marriage to your husband's or your wife's name. So, the petitioner's name. A U.S. citizen. Be married on the date you got married, guys. So, here in kung saan kayo kinasal. For example, here Plantation, Florida. So, pag okay na kayo guys sa lahat ng requirements nyo, the last thing we need to do is put labels. So, for easy filing, we put the labels at the bottom of the page na requirements natin. So, ayan guys, susulatan nyo lang. Then, after that, dikit nyo lang sa ibaba ng page ng requirements nyo. And make sure guys na kapag nilagay siya sa loob ng Manila and Belof, hindi siya matutupi. Ayan, so adjust lang natin. You can buy Manila and Belof guys sa Target, sa Walmart. And we can use small sealed bag guys for our picture and for the check. And this is how it looks like guys, yung label na dinikit natin. This is the sticky paper that we use. Mabibili mo siya sa Target or sa Walmart. 
and we're now ready to send use the right lane to turn slightly right toward florida 818 west Make sure guys na maganda yung review ng FOSS office na pagdadalan nyo para sure tayo na marireceive ng USCIS ang ating applications. And that's it guys! Sana yung nakatulong sa inyo ang video na ito. And if you have more questions, just comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Bye! That's it, got.